Hello, you are welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about auxiliary contact blocks on contactors. Auxiliary contact blocks are used to provide additional contacts on the contactor. So in the situation where we don't have enough auxiliary contact on the contactor, we provide auxiliary contact blocks. Auxiliary contact blocks are of two main types. We have internal and external. With the internal, let's look at this contactor here. On this contactor, you could see we have normally open 33, 34. On this contactor, you could see normally open 13, 14. On this contactor, you could also see 13, 14, normal open. These contacts are the internal auxiliary contact. With the external auxiliary contact blocks, we have two main types. We have the top mounted and the side mounted. Every contactor has its own external auxiliary contact blocks. These external contact blocks are for this contactor only. This contactor has its own auxiliary contact block. The same applies to this one. We can't use the auxiliary contact block for this contactor on this contactor. It cannot work. They all come with their unique auxiliary contact blocks. Because we only have the external auxiliary contact blocks for this contactor, we are focusing on these three components. With the top mounted auxiliary contact block, we fix it on top of the contactor this way there is a plunger here you press it this way so as you are fixing you press it and then you slide in this way so now it has been fixed when the contactor energizes it pulls this plunger inside therefore all the contact on this auxiliary contact block they will change their state let's identify the contact on this we have 53 54 normally open 61 62 normally close 71 72 normally close 83 84 normal open these are the contact on this block with the side mounted we place it on the side of the contactor so at this side you see some yellow thing inside here and this Hose. The same applies to when we return the contactor. The same thing. So it means that we can fix this side mounted auxiliary contact block here or here. Now let's identify the contacts on this side mounted auxiliary contact block. We can see we have some numbers. We have 13, 14, normally open, 21. 22 normally close and we could see that 21 22 they are in the middle and 13 14 are on both sides when we view this contact this way you could see that we have four four terminals two are in the middle automatically the middle contact are the normally close contacts according to how the numbers are arranged you can also use multimeter to Check the contacts. So the top ones are the normally closed contacts. The down ones are the normally open contacts. We fix it this way. You push this plunger. It goes down small. Then we have this plunger to here. Spring loaded. It locks in this way. How you will fix yours will be different from mine, depending on the manufacturer. You see. Now, it has been fixed securely. So when the contactor energizes, the contact will change their state. We have another one here. You can fix it this way. You press on the plunger small. Now, we have fixed it on both sides. With this contactor, it also has the same plunger here. This is where we will also fix the top mounted auxiliary contact block. On both sides, you can see this hose. 
This is where we will fix the side mounted. When we turn it, the same thing also here. On this contactor, you see here, this is where we will mount the top mounted auxiliary contact block. On the side, this is where we will mount the side mounted. When we turn it, the same thing here. So this is how we mount external auxiliary contact blocks on contactors. Now, the question is, when do we need external auxiliary contact blocks? Let's look at this diagram. On this diagram, we have K1 and K3. We have four open contacts on this contactor. One closed contact on that same contactor. So it means that we have to get additional auxiliary contacts. That is why we provided this external auxiliary contact block. So in this diagram, we have four normally open contacts. One is already here. The internal one is one. Then on the top mounted, we have two normally open contacts. One is here, one is here. So now we have three normally open contacts. On the side mounted, the down are the normally open contacts. So now we have four normally open contacts that we can use in this diagram when we are doing wiring. And we have normally closed contacts, which is only one. We can either use the top terminals on the side mounted block or you can use any one of these two normally closed contacts on the top mounted so this is the main reason why we provide additional auxiliary contact blocks this brings us to the end of today's tutorials if you could not understand it fully make sure you watch it a few more times and if this is the first time you're watching this channel, I will urge you that you subscribe to this channel, you like the video, you share the video to your friends, and then you put down your comment. I will see you in my next tutorials. Thank you.